But that was Serbia. Let's now take you to the United States. In an academic year uprooted by the pandemic, the U.S. government is creating more chaos. America wants foreign students to leave. Why, if you may ask? Their visas do not allow them to attend online classes while residing in the United States. Nearly 1.2 million foreign students could be forced out. What happens to their fee? Do they get it back? What about new admissions? Here are some answers. Thousands of foreign students in America are angry and frustrated. First, the pandemic locked them up in their room. Now, they face deportation. The government has decided if classes are online, students must leave. Harvard University and several other colleges say they will reopen campuses but hold classes online. For no fault of their own, foreign students are a tormented lot. Many questions are weighing on their anxious minds. Number one, which foreign students will be asked to leave? All F1 and M1 visa holders. Regular academic students hold an F1 visa. Those pursuing non-academic and vocational courses have the M1. These visas will be deemed invalid if the students are attending online classes. Is there no option? There is. The student must shift to a college which is offering in-person classes. Such students can remain in the US. Number two, which students will be the worst affected? At least 1.2 million foreign students are studying in 8,700 colleges across the country. Of these, the Chinese form the largest group, 360,000. Indians will be the second worst affected, over 250,000. Students from South Korea, Saudi Arabia and Canada will be affected too. Number three, can students return to finish the course? Assuming that they are sent home, will they be allowed to return? No. Not unless the student provides proof that lessons will be held inside a classroom. The rule applies to new students too. If classes are online, student visas won't be issued. Number four, how will the students leave the US? Nearly 90% of these foreign students are still in the US. If they go back home, it will be hard to return. Routine visa processing is suspended at US embassies and consulates worldwide. International travel restrictions are in place in many countries. Commercial flight options are limited. Even if colleges shift to classroom-based teaching in the coming months, travel restrictions will make it difficult for students to return. Number five, what will happen to the fee paid? Online classes do not mean lower tuition fee. Foreign students pay more than American citizens. They make up less than 6% of a class but contribute over 10% of the revenue. Last year, foreign students contributed over $40 billion to American colleges. Harvard University President Larry Bacow says he is very concerned by the decision to deport students. Colleges might take the government to court. They are lobbying to get the decision revoked. America's COVID cases are close to 3 million. Colleges want to retain students. The new rule could force them to open up worsening America's health crisis. Bureau Report, We On, World is One.